Hi, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, 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 Gemini's. Come on in, Gemini's. Come on in. Have a seat, my loves. Welcome back to the ones that are my evolving spirits. Welcome back, my loves. Thank you for your love and support. And if you're new here, welcome, my loves. Come on in, have a seat. Let's grab some enlightenment together and let's see what's going on. Okay, Gemini? Let's see, my loves. We're going to do your reading for the month of June. We're going to see what messages spirit and your higher self have for you. Okay, so let's see. Let's dive on in, shall we? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Universe. What messages do we have for the Geminis that have a Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node? And if you have a South or North Node, the readings may resonate for you. And cross watchers, my loves, you are welcome. Okay? You are welcome as well. All right? It's a message for everyone. So let's see, Spirit. What messages do we have for Geminis for the month of June, happy, happy birthday, my loves. Happy belated birthday. Happy motherfucking birthday, okay? If you ain't celebrating your birthday, I don't know what you're doing, okay? Celebrate, my loves. I don't care where you're at, what you're doing. Give thanks, my loves. Yes, happy birthday. Fuck it up, Gemini. Yes, okay? Move forward. Let's see what we got for your birthday behavior, your birthday shenanigans, okay? Let's see what messages we have for the sexy-ass Geminis doing their birthday behavior, doing their birthday season. What gifts are they being brought around this cycle, spirits, around this time, okay? Let's get into it, Geminis. We're going to pull a Moonology card here to start out the reading. Stick around for story time to get the enlightenment there. Let's see here what we got. Ooh, thank you, Spirit. Well, well, well. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Gemini. Wow, here is your air energy, my loves. I encourage you, my loves, to go check out the new moon in Libra. Okay, see what messages Spirit has for you there. Okay, but definitely a new romantic, romantic, okay, cycle begins. I'm just going to sit it right there, okay? I'm just going to sit it right there, Gemini's. That's for you. Happy motherfucking birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. What? Happy birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. What? Fuck it up, Gemini's. Let's move on. Let's pull the tarot cards out. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Okay. Moon core at the bottom of the deck. Piscean energy. Some of y'all, this was um, hidden from you, okay? You wasn't aware of this new romantic cycle that's beginning around. Well, what other time around your motherfucking birthday season? Fuck it up, Gemini's. We're going to see what it's all about. Let's get into the spirit. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, north, south, nose. Okay, for the cross watchers here, sitting in quietly now. Don't interrupt Gemini's uh, reading now, okay? I've already welcomed you in, okay? Sit back, relax, okay? Let's see, Gemini's. What do we have? Whoa. Okay, we have some jumpers that came out on the floor here. Okay. We had the two of pentacles that come out for you, okay? That's earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in, okay? We do know that there is going to be some justice in this situation. It wanted to show itself more Libra energy, okay? Some of y'all could be involved with the Libra, or they could have Libra placements in their chart, okay? And they're definitely on this cycle with a new romantic love, okay? Look, they said love, okay? And some of you all with the high priestess coming out here again, more Piscean energy, okay? That are on this vibe with the Piscean, okay? You're being very intuitive, enlightened, okay? During this time, during your birthday, uh, shenanigans, yes. Which, of course, if you notice around your birthday energies, right? 
everything comes more intuitive for you you're picking up more intuitively energies people places and things around you and how things are playing out you know so it's very mindful not only to enjoy your birthday shenanigans and seasons but be aware because you're intuitive your spirit okay your intuition is in heightened around your birthday look that's a whole nother video check me out on patreon we'll get that enlightenment there my loves okay but we gonna move on because this is your birthday shenanigan reading okay a new romantic cycle begins let's see what this is all about what messages spirit do we have for gemini's for the month of june spirit all right my loves we have what other cards come on now? Bring it on now, Spirit. We have the Three of Swords. This is your energy, my loves, okay? Gemini energy here, the Three of Swords. So we know, okay, been there, done that, got the T-shirt. Okay? So in reference to your energy, my loves, you are aware, aware of, okay? Again, we had the High Priestess that wanted to show itself and jumped out here. As I was shuffling your cards. So we know that here in your past, of course, there was some pain here that had to be, uh, I'm hearing, let loose. Okay. So some of you all, in regards to this person, place, or thing, you had to let loose. You had to, meaning you had to release. Thank you, Spirit. Give me another more meaningful, okay, meaningful word. Spirit let loose look some people don't know what let what let loose you talking about move for all right gemini's here we go okay we already in mercury retrograde for gemini's so my words is gonna be a little scattered okay they're gonna be a little bit all over the place gemini's bear with me you know all about this energy so i am understanding with gemini being in my moon sign okay so my emotions and things is very communicative okay i really express and communicate my emotions and way I feel, okay? Moving forward. That's a whole nother video, spirit. So again, Geminis, we know this person, place, or thing here that's in your past. You're in the energy of also with the Mercury retrograde. This is what it's needing to be utilized for. This is why we have the Mercury retrograde, okay? We're going to talk about it all in your birthday reading because it's all well known in your natural energy, People that are not or don't have as much Gemini placements, okay, in their birth chart now can feel that energy and get an understanding of what it is. Because you, by default, is going to, of course, feel it more, rather if it's in your rising sun, moon, Venus, wherever it placed the most and have the most in your chart. You're going to have a affection or effect. Thank you, Spirit of the Mercury Retrograde as well. And don't take it as a bad thing or don't be like, oh, shit, oh, hell, damn, I got to feel no utilize it that's what the energy and that's what the planet or inner works for us as human beings and how it affects us so utilize the energy okay take advantage of it okay it's your energy utilize your power honey okay so i feel like a lot of you all are going to be utilizing your power okay you're going to be understanding of what here this is your card referencing to your past okay from what you come out of you know things that cause you pain and hurt and now during this time during this thank you spirit this new romantic cycle that's beginning for you and some of you around the new moon in libra okay if it hasn't already happened okay i don't know go google it okay but however Gemini's, you have come out of that i feel for most of you all you're going into a new romantic relationship partnership however i also don't know i wasn't the fly on the wall but what i do know i feel intuitively that it is now here for you that cycle is beginning for you wherever the Gemini placements place in your chart or you just clicking on this video, it is for you. Rather what it places in your chart, okay? Everything happens for a reason, okay? So my loves, you're understanding that everything happens for a reason. You're understanding that these people, places, and things that broke your heart here in the past here with the Three of Swords, okay? And was painful for some of you all. And sometimes we have to go through it through a way of feeling it mentally, physically, and emotionally on all levels, right? And when you felt it and it hurt you in your heart, 
okay it sets you back it allow you to reflect it'll allow you to see this person or place or thing in another perspective and that's that a spiritual awakening that's that realization that's needed to know okay where you now need to be on your timeline and what you now have an understanding of, right? Okay, thank you, Spirit. What other messages? Moving forward. What other messages do we have for Gemini's? Give me two more cards to go over the past now and the future, okay? The past, present, and the future. What are the messages? You know I like things to come in threes, Gemini's. Okay. And if the reading has resonated so far, my loves, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, my loves, if you're new here. So that way you can be notified for when your reading comes out, my loves. Okay. Let's see, Spirit. What are the messages we have for Gemini's? For the month of June. All right. We have the Ten of Wands. Fire energy. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Okay. But all in all, in a nutshell, my loves, we know the Wands represents things that you created. Things that you put your feelings and thoughts into. Okay. We know what the Wands represents, right? Your inner feelings. Your inner creativity. Okay. And you utilize that with 10 different people. With 10 different situations, with 10 different, um, you know, ways of processing things. And it didn't work for you. Why? Because you've taken all of those ones and you've put them down. You placed them down. You've collected them all together and you're putting the burdens of what now has become for you. And in your past, again, with the person, places, or things that hurt and broke your heart. Okay, I'm just going to keep it for what it is. This is what is here. Okay, these are your internal feelings, thoughts, emotions, okay, that's not shared out on the forefront, okay? So if it resonates, it will resonate with who it needs to resonate with. That's what tarot cards are. Tarot cards are things that are not discussed on the uh, forefront, okay? Moving forward. So again, the Ten of Wands here, okay? You've put those brains down. You understand that you have took on Gemini's more than what you could chew, okay, or could fucking handle, okay? That's just what that is, okay? And now you're understanding that I don't have to take on all these burdens by myself, right, Gemini? Because now I know what I am deserving of. Now I know that there is a new cycle because we know, again, 10 is all about endings and new beginnings, Okay. 10 is all about completion. So this is now a completion for you. This person that you were in a relationship with now is a completion. It is now an ending. You have recognized your role in the relationship. This person has recognized their role in relationships and family members, loved ones as well. However, it is resonating on whatever timeline. Okay, let's move forward. Let's finish up. Let's get a card for your future, Gemini. Whoa, it jumped out here. We have... Page of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Okay? Page of Pentacles. What a good way to move forward in the future for your birthday shenanigans, my loves. Okay? Definitely elaborated well on your past moving forward to your present here with the Ten of Wands because you're currently putting everything down. Okay? You're setting the bullshit to the side and you're moving forward towards this new romantic cycle, okay? It took you a while, it took you almost, some of y'all, 10 months, 10 years, okay, to, you know, recognize and understand these energies from your past or where you had to go and learn and learn the lessons from, right? And evolve from, right? And choose now how you want to create your life, your universe, okay? Moving forward, because there's definitely someone, again, could be an earth sign Gemini, okay? Or someone just overall that is wanting to build, okay? We know the Page of Pentacles is all about, you know, in the material 3D realm here and wanting to build, okay? Do a fresh new start, okay? This is also about learning, learning something that's going to bring you revenue, that's going to bring you materialistic value, um, as well as with your finances as well, right? This is all in regards to building, starting something new, starting something fresh, and again, don't forget what's sitting back here. A new romantic cycle begins, okay? I like the alignment here so far, Gemini's. I like it, all right? If you like it, hit that like button there because I like it. All right, wow. And look at the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, I like it. 
I love it. Hey, I want some more of it. Fuck it up. Yes, Gemini's. I like it. Ooh, and look at you when I'm cutting the deck. Mm-hmm. Look at you when I'm cutting the deck. The lovers, your energy, making a decision. We know the lovers is all about making a decision in regards to someone or something or a place or person thing. I don't know. You tell me. I'm not the fly on the walk. But it's definitely going to be romantic. That's what the lovers is all about. Making a decision. This is two people here. Two energies. Mass and feminine. Feminine mass and energies here. In regards to love. Okay. With the background drop here. Love. You Look. It ain't no coincidence. Then you hit the button. You click the button on love and forever evolving. That's what the channel name is called. I don't know. You tell me, Gemini's. What you got going on for your birthday today? I don't know. Let's move forward. Clarify the Three of Swords, spirits. Why don't we have the Three of Swords here? Let's finish up. Let's get to the meat and potatoes, spirits. Why don't we have the Three of Swords here? Why don't we have the Three of Swords here for Gemini, spirits? Oh, we got a lot of jumpers here. Mm. But talk to them, spirit. Talk to them. We have the Eight of Cups come out here. Scorpio energy, okay? Walking away. We know the Eight of Cups is walking away from something that no longer um, has your emotions attached to it no more. So these people, this person, this relationship that you currently are walking away from or have already, or again, loved ones, people, jobs, energies that you've been around that you just not longer, no longer, thank you, Spirit, emotionally attached to is what the Eight of Cups card represents. You emotionally are walking away from things, people, places that no longer resonate with you no more, my loves. Just call it for what it is, okay? This is you on an internal level. This is you within, okay? That's not being shared here externally, okay? And within, uh, emotionally, okay, and mentally, you have detached yourself from these people, places, a thing. There's a full moon here. It's not a half moon no more. The full moon done covered itself. So you know the information. We started out with the moon card at the bottom of the deck. So the secret is out, Gemini's. You are now aware we did have the high priestess there. You know your intuition has been heightened again. You're going on with the birthday shenanigans and you're moving forward, okay? A lot of that energy I notice has been repetitive within all the collectives, different zodiac signs. We are in the world now in a place where everything is shifting. We're in the number, numerology number five right now, okay? We're going into the 5D realm. We own 5D devices. Ding, ding. Get this knowledge. Follow me on Patreon so we can get this enlightenment. It as well also has been adjusted to July the 1st. Oh, excuse me, July the 12th is when I will be available. I had to adjust the times. We are Mercury retrograde. A lot of shit is going on. So the ones that's been following me, my involving spirits, I have adjusted the time frame for a starting Patreon will be July the 12th, okay, moving forward, okay, until we finish out Mercury Retrograde, because a lot of things are needed to be revised, reviewed, including everything else I got going on, okay, so we will be moving forward starting July 12th, will give me enough time to get everything in alignment for myself and for you all, moving forward, so again, Gemini's, okay, you're on this path, you're doing what it is that you need to do. You're following your intuition. Enjoy your birthday. Give yourself gratitude. You have come a long way with the Ten of Wands here. And doing this cycle, doing this cycle of your birthday shenanigans, you putting the bullshit down. You wrapping cycles up. Good job. Keep up the good work. Okay? As it, what movie was that? Good job. What you want me to say? Good job. Keep up the good work. Hell yeah. Because you're doing a good damn job. If ain't nobody told you, I'm here to tell your ass. Good job. Clarify the Ten of Wands. Why don't we have the Ten of Wands here, Spirit for Gemini's? All right. We have, wow, water energy here. Okay? We have Cancerian, Pisces, and Scorpio. More water energy. Okay? We also have... Um, we'll get into it. Another card that jumped out here as well. But the Knight of Cups here, okay? So be aware. We know again in Mercury retrograde, in your energy, my loves, uh, with the planet Mercury retrograding. So a lot of obstacles, a lot of things are going to be, think about it when, when, 
When all the planets is going direct and one planet decides to go backwards and that causes conflict and it's going to be rubbing up against all the other planets. So what do you think it's going to be doing down here in the 3D realm? Okay, the same process. Things, people, places, it's going to be seem like they the words is being mixed up. They're doing things backwards. They're not thinking straight. A lot is going to be going on, okay? So, again, you're going to have a lot of people, places, and things from your past as well that's going to be coming towards you. We know the Knight of Cups is coming to bring you an apology, coming to, uh, you know, express things from their space of their emotions in their heart, right, with the water energy here, okay? So, this person is definitely going to be imbibing the water energy here, okay? Because they're realizing that, you know, you, Geminis, again, are putting the burdens down, okay? You're moving forward. You're understanding and realizing what's now best for you. In whatever place, um, you know, this is resonating for you now in your timeline. Because, again, you have a new romantic cycle that's beginning for you, okay? And as well, we have the five of ones energy here. We know the ones energy is all self-representing independently and in how you're feeling internally, okay? We know the ones is all in the fire energy, the Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy, the, you know, the creative energy energy right and so again some of y'all because this person is coming towards you that some of y'all may not be aware of okay gemini's and they may have you know started your energy causing some inner conflicts here because you're not understanding why is this person for some of y'all coming towards you because it was someone that played a particular position i'm hearing okay played a particular position in your past gemini's okay that you previously walked away from okay rather when that was okay because again the secrets were out the information the clarity that you had got understanding of uh, you put the burdens down, okay? And this person now has realized that, okay? They're coming back to want to obviously, you know, say whatever it is um, for some y'all speak of their amends, okay? But just know, you'll know if it's genuine or not. And that simply caused conflict now because we know the five of ones representing, representing, excuse me, inner conflicts, right? It's okay, okay? Don't make any decisions. Don't sign any contracts. Wait after three weeks, okay, Gemini, for the ones that's not aware, okay, or whoever you are, and reflect, okay, because this was a situation that you all in all know that you had to walk away from. It was the reason before then. It's the reason now. So, you know, fill it out. Get an understanding of it, you know, make sure both of you all in alignment, okay, before this new romantic cycle begin, okay? So, let's see. Let's move forward. Let's finish up. Why do we have the page of pentacles here for Gemini spirit? Why is the page of pentacles here for my sexy ass Gemini's doing their birthday shenanigans month? Okay, the month of June. What's in the new fresh environment besides the new romantic cycle that's beginning for them? Okay, what do we have here? Spirit. Wow, and it wanted to show itself again. Wow, beautiful Gemini. Okay. Ten of motherfucking cups, okay? A new start for some of you all, a new relationship, as I stated, as a new romantic. And going on and on this time, right, if you are currently in a relationship and this person from your past or that you're in a relationship with now, you're starting a new romantic cycle, you're reflecting it again. And this is what retro, a retro what, spirit? <sighs> Excuse me, my words is already getting tongue-tied, Okay. Rather, again, if you are currently in a relationship, in a marriage, okay, you revisiting uh, how you feel with this person, renewing your vows, you're re-triggering things, you're cleaning up around the house, bringing in new energies. That's how you got to keep your marriage going and keep it new, keep it refreshed. You got to switch up some shit, okay? All right? And for the ones that's going into this new relationship, going into this new cycle, with this person, place, or thing, you're going to, again, a new re romantic relationship. So this person, place, or thing, this earth sign, this Taurus Capricorn of Virgo, okay, they're wanting to start fresh, okay, right? And that is what's happening here in the works because it's right there, my loves, and I like it. Sounds good to me. What does it sound like to you, my loves, okay? All right, thank you, spirit. 
So, my loves, again, if the reading is resonating this far, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I thank you for sticking around this long. I thank you for your love and support. We're going to move forward here and get some story time, finishing up your reading for your birthday shenanigans. We're going to read the card for a new romantic cycle begins. Okay? That's what it say right there in front of you, Gemini's. Okay? I like it. If you like it, hit that notification bell because, again, I like it, Spirit. Yes. Okay? Let's finish up here. Let's finish up. Yes, Spirit. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Spirit. Let's pull it up here again. That is a new romantic cycle begins. Okay, new moon in Libra. Yes. Give and take could well be the answer to whatever dilemma, Gemini's, you are asking about. We are now in story time. Tune in. You may be called for it, Gemini's. It's time to start negotiating or even renegotiating. Yes, everything is re. That's what re-retrograde is all about. You review, you revise, you reflect on what's going on. Because you got a new romantic cycle coming your way, Gemini's. Whether if it's in your sun sign, your rising, your moon, your Venus, your north, no, all the damn nodes, okay? Wherever you at in your timeline, okay? You clicked on this reading for reason okay so again a new romantic cycle begins when the new moon in libra comes up gemini's there's a restart for you and for someone else yes fuck it up gemini's a new relationship could be beginning and if that's the case the chances are this will be a healthy and well-balanced connection yes gemini's fuck it up fuck it up for the birthday shenanigans yes what a way to start your birthday behavior. Yes, Gemini's. And anything you do after pulling this card, doing it in pairs is advised, such as timing up with someone in business or in your personal life. And I meant to say such as teaming up, not timing, okay? Spirit might want to say that, yes, this might be the right time. And I love your birthday reading. Look, it came up and showed out, okay? I like how it just all in alignment with itself. Good positive energy for a good birthday reading because sometimes this shit could go left, but yours has been all positive, Gemini's, and I like it, okay? So, I meant to say again, such as teaming up with someone in business or in your personal life. Libra is a sign of relating, and this card suggests that whatever or whoever it is or is at the heart of the issue you are addressing is someone who will be open to talking things through. Yes. I, look, my moon sign in Gemini, I need to go back and read and listen to the video myself. Spill it. Moving forward. Avoid being selfish, Gemini. It won't get you anywhere at this time. Yes, please do the total opposite, Gemini's. Please. Okay. I know it can be challenging with having the yin and yang energy battling sometimes within you. I feel it in my moon sign. Okay. I understand. Okay. So again, feel more. Think less, Gemini's. Marriage or engagement is on the cards. It's in the horizon for some of you all. Congratulations, okay? And also this card means a legal matter will go your way. For some of you all that's concerned about that, pay some attention to your appearance, but don't be all about appearances right now. Don't think that way right now, my loves. Well, my loves, that has finished and finalized your reading for the month of June. I hope you enjoyed it. And if again, thank you, my love, so much for your love support. I am now available for personal readings. That information is down below in the personal um, readings or again now available. Right? And all that information, again, is down below in the description box. I love you, Gemini's. Thank you so much for your love and support and donations. It's truly been a blessing, my loves. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Do your thing. Play it safe. Enjoy yourself. And I'll talk to you soon, Gemini's. I love you. Bye-bye.